Women know now that they can call the police anytime for anything. I talk to men, especially military men, and they'll tell me like, women will do all kinds of them for things to them. And, you know, girlfriends will come and attack them. I talked to one man who said a girlfriend came to his house. He was having a party and she jumped him and hit him and stuff. And he ended up when the police came, they tried to handcuff him. Um, but that's just the way it is. The police. And if you read literature, even on, you know, like with the police or any kind of domestic violence, it's always the man is the perpetrator yeah. and the woman is the victim always. Dr. Helen Smith. She's been here for a while now. She definitely contributed to the statistics and data that we use in the manosphere. When her book, Men on Strike, came out and she would come on these shows to promote the book, I would notice a difference in how her arguments were received. It seems that a woman talking about men's issues is taken more seriously. She's dropping a lot of gems like always. You can find the full interview with Jesse Lee Peterson in the description. I will chime in a couple times and then we'll let the highlights roll. So let's get this highlight reel started. I think that, you know, probably boys have always been taught, you know, women aren't as strong. I mean, probably it's not a good idea to hit them, but <laughs> I do think women, I think the difference is that women feel very free today. Yes. Again, there are no consequences. It's like your mom got on the sister, so they probably didn't hit you. Today, if you want, if a woman smacks you in the face, and you're a man, if you try to do anything or self-defense, you, you will be the one going to jail or being accused. Um, one of the things that research finds is that most violence between couples is reciprocal. In other words, the woman hits the man usually first, then yeah. the guy retaliates, and then he's the one that ends up in trouble. Well, I don't think, you know, there's always sort of been a thing about don't hit a girl. I think what's happened is as women, the same, women actually like that kind of uh, chivalry. So men still have this thing, like they're not gonna hit a woman. No, men don't, you know, and, and <laughs> I don't think it's good to hit anybody except in self-defense. Right, I mean, yes. It's unfortunate, I, I really don't think it's a good thing. I mean, if you're getting to the point where you're hitting a, your domestic partner, things are not going well for right. you. Um, but um, I don't think it's that they convinced them. I think men still are taught in our society to keep that chivalry going while at the same time, women as they've gotten more and more power and there are no consequences. The laws have changed so that, you know, you look at things like the Me Too movement or even before that, I mean, it's, if you're a man and you touch a woman, you're going to jail, you know? And I've heard from so many men, particularly minority and African-American men, a lot of them, I have literally had, had clients who, um, you know, who have been in jail for, you know, whether that be child support or, even a false allegation that they yeah. hurt or touched a woman. And I think that the laws are such that men are in hot water if they do something or a woman accuses them. This is exactly why it makes sense when men say they don't participate anymore. The foolishness of modern women is backed up by the law. <laughs> you could go to jail for the most ridiculous reasons. You forgot to brush your teeth. You say hello to a female and she goes like, ew. Your breath stank. Lock him up. It used to be that men actually got something out of marriage. They were respected. Then you were seeing if you were a father or a husband, you were respected. And now the rewards for marriage in, in, in the culture is just so low. There are no, there just aren't a ton of rewards, at least legally. Certainly, you know, you get companionship and all kinds of things, but you can have those with a relationship. Yeah. The rewards for men in marriage are just very, very poor. Men can have their kids taken from them. They they're, they pay alimony 97% of the time. Um, the cards are stacked against them when it comes to marriage, if the marriage breaks up. Can't stress it enough, man. In modern Western society, it's foolish to get married. I would give you a better shot overseas. I wouldn't argue with you if you decide to get married in a non-Western country. Different cultures, different laws, etc. Yeah, um, I actually interviewed men for my book. And one thing I have to point out is it's a lot of this is psychological. They actually find that most of the time men do not get custody of their kids. Right. Uh, only about, uh, you know, cu custodial fathers are about 17%. But one of the major reasons is that men will not fight back. Those that do, they often 
not often, but many times can get partial custody at least, and they can fight for that. Most men walk away because they think that's the right thing to do. Um, I get what you're saying. I think after a certain point, yes, you might want to pack it in, <laughs> but I think my advice would be rather than, you know, people, men, it's hard to walk away from your children. It is. You have to get yourself a really good lawyer and you have to fight. And I know people who do that and they actually win. So it is possible. If you want to see a glimpse of your child, you will have to go through hell and back and it will cost you a lot of money. When we made the video, The Foolishness of Dating Single Moms, I instantly knew that it was the guy that took her to court. She was not allowing him to see the child. She was controlling the whole situation. So he took her to court and she didn't like it. That's why she's not talking about how she got there in the first place. Once again, the law is on her side. You have nothing to say about your own flesh and blood unless you hire a good lawyer and take your baby mama to court. The foolishness. I don't think women see it that way. I think the women, I'm telling you from their point of view, they think these are my kids. In our society, it used to be, no, it's true. Like it used to be that men had, um, more say over their children right. even in the earlier part of the century but as the rules changed in the favor of women now women are seen are seen as sort of almost the owners of the children and i think that that what happens with men when they get divorced is a lot of times they just see the men they see the women and the children as just a subset and they say okay i don't want to deal with that anymore but it's still their children yeah and I think women tend to use kids because it's an easy way. You use the children and the courts, like you said, are going to tend to believe the mother, but they don't always. And I think people are getting a little bit more wise to some of the things that women are doing. Exactly. That red pill magic is spreading. More of these Manosphere channels are blowing up. Why? Because it makes sense. More and more women are watching these channels. They're asking themselves, where are these men at? I can't get a man to commit. We told you, stop listening to Derek Jackson, but you're not going to listen to someone that's going to tell you to lose weight. You're not going to listen to someone that's going to tell you that there's a wall and you just hit it. You only want to listen to what feels good. Dr. Hannah Smith, please keep the gems coming. You know, it really does. People don't understand how important children are. And I think that's one reason that men are afraid a little bit more of fatherhood because they know that, that if something happens to their marriage, that those children that they love so much can be taken from them in a way that I think mothers feel a lot freer that, oh, I'm probably going to get my kids. Right. So I think that's one reason women tend to divorce. 70% of divorces are initiated by women. And I think it's because they feel like, well, you know what, I'm going to get my kids. And they're just, I think fathers are just more reluctant to break off because they want to be in their kids' lives. You're hundred percent right about that. People don't realize they've done studies and they find how important fathers are. I worked in juvenile court and I know a lot of the kids that had so many problems, they were much, much more likely not to have a dad. Yeah. And I think that father hunger for, for children is, um, can definitely end up with them getting in trouble more in school. Girls can be more promiscuous. Uh, boys get in much more trouble. Yeah. I think dads are a huge influence and uh, we, we underestimate them very much. I think part of it is from, it's kind of blackmail because what we have is we have a, a government system that pays people who are single parents yeah. more yeah. welfare money. And so as you know, more and more African-American uh, women have children out of wedlock and 36 percent i think of all uh black americans are don't get, ever get married yeah so there is just not a lot of marriage and not a lot of incentive if you think about it to have that family unit anymore and i believe that's uh for uh, actually a political reason it it's is. done because they're trying to destroy the american family particularly the african-american family because then you would be an independent unit that maybe wouldn't need these handouts from the government I think a lot of men suffer now from depression and I think there really isn't any help out there and our society is very callous towards men. The only message most men hear in the world is that they're a bumbling buffoon. The TV shows are full of idiot men, commercials show men as buffoons. The society is against them. All they hear about is what idiots men are.
Well, I think women have, feel that they've gone so far, and I don't think we're going to go back to that because women are over 50% of the population, and yeah. those votes are going to go, and those votes by the beta type males are going to go to <laughs> Democrats and people who can support those views. Remember, the family, the goal here for a lot of liberal, super liberals, I mean, far left, is basically a socialist or, you know, a far left society, and that society doesn't include family units because family units can easily they're more independent and they make more money and they're more sufficient efficient and they i think it's better if they feel that it's it's a broken system yeah. and if you have a broken system those people are more dependent on the government look women are now using the government as their husband and that's yeah. what is wanted you got to understand that's what that's the idea of it and they many people i think most people are fooled by that and I think most women tend to be very, I'm stereotyping, but they tend to be more collectivist. They tend to uh, sort of be more in that socialist mindset. So I don't know that you're gonna see a huge change. I think the change will have to come from men. And there, those men are doing something about it. They're saying, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm not getting married or I'm divorced. I'm not gonna, they don't sit around uh, just trying to, live their life through women they actually have lots of hobbies they go out they buy that land you were talking about they're out there getting motors like they're having a good time and right. they're enjoying life without having to deal with the stress of the women and the society that tells them they're all this or you know they have to have a woman in their life oh yeah i think so the problem with i think for men today is that they uh I think they're afraid sometimes, they're afraid of conflict with women. Yes. So I think, I absolutely agree. And what I would do is I would say that yes, most men, and you know, we're stereotyping a little bit here. I think there <laughs> are a lot of really good women out there. There, there, there are, are who, absolutely. You know, and I think what you have to do is you have to try to find those women and you have to put, you have to open your eyes. Um, if you're a man and you really want a family, I think you've got to look for that woman who is a good fit for you and most of all a woman who has respect for you and you see that she has respect for your space and your um you know like she cares about you and she provides a lot of respect mostly and i think men tend to let women say things and get away with it now because they're taught not to talk back they don't say anything and then finally they just either blow up or just become depressed and that's unfortunate i see that a lot now and i think what you're saying when you say be a man you're saying deal with women don't let a woman run over you in right. other words stand up and say this isn't acceptable to me you need to change your behavior or we're gonna have to split up